Hi, welcome to the Ag Update from Asmus Farm Supply. I'm Trevor Enerson, the seed agronomist in Esterville, Iowa. Today we're going to talk about stand establishment and potential effects of starter fertilizer on seed that may have been affected by the cold, wet weather. Over the course of the next couple weeks, we're going to be evaluating fields that have been planted over the previous two weeks. We're going to be looking for a chilling injury in corn and stand establishment. With the cold, wet weather we're expected to have, the first thing we want to monitor is the seed. We'll want to make sure that it's properly developing its roots and shoots and is on track to emerge. Our main concern right now is chilling injury due to planting right before cool, wet weather. Chilling injury can occur when the first drink of water that a seedling takes is too cool. It affects the embryonic cells and it will develop an irregular shoot. And oftentimes it will corkscrew and not make it out of the ground. If the cool wet weather lasts too long, we will then start to be concerned about seed rot. How we look for that is we dig up seeds and feel to see if they are firm or soft. Often if they are soft, when broken open, they will also look rotten. A firm seed indicates that that seed is still viable and still could produce a plant. Once the seedling begins to emerge, we will start monitoring stand establishment. We will go out and we will figure out what population the corn plants actually emerged at and how many viable plants we will have per acre. Hopefully it doesn't come to this, but we may have to run we may run into some replant decisions. As you can see by this table from Iowa State, it shows different populations, the percent of potential yield that you'll have with those with that population, and the planting date in which it took place. Using this table, we'll determine whether a full replant is necessary. As you can see, the later we get in the season, the less feasible it becomes to replant an entire field of corn. That doesn't necessarily mean we won't go in and spike in some areas like side hills that had poor emergence just to get a better stand there. Over the last couple of years, we've actually run into this quite often. We've also fielded questions on whether or not starter will help with some of these difficulties in cold, wet soils. As far as emergence, I don't know that starter is necessarily going to be the answer there. Last year, we actually saw pretty significant visual results from starter fertilizer used. The recovery process from plants that had been damaged but not totally killed off by the cool wet weather was much greater when we used starter. When the combines actually rolled on that particular field, we also saw a pretty significant yield advantage from a pretty simple starter package. Thanks for watching this week's Ag Update. If you have any more questions this spring, feel free to contact your local AFS agronomist.